the Spartan Mind Strength Podcast, the podcast for mental grit and resilience. Hosted by V. Binga and Tim Ganley. Hello, this is Tim. And this is V. And we welcome you to another episode of the Spartan Mind Strength Podcast. So, V, what are we talking about today? The Ayurvedic Astrology of the week of July 11th. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. And we're back, and we're going to be talking about the week of July 11th. That's yes, Monday. Monday. Okay, so tell me about July 11th. It's an extremely interesting week. There are two major themes for this week. The one theme is the full moon on Wednesday, okay. July 13. The dates depend a little bit depending on what your time zone is. And the other theme is the Pluto return for the U.S. chart that's on a Tuesday, July 12th. Okay. And uh, these two themes are actually going to last for uh, more than just this week. Okay. Their effect is going to be longer than just this week. And uh, they really play off of each other big time. That's fun. So how do they play? They are affecting they are affecting the world at large. The Pluto return of the US chart mm-hmm. affects the world at large. And they are also affecting us as individuals. Does it affect us as individuals if we're in the United States more, or does it affect us as individuals about the same no matter where we are? No matter where we are, because what's happening to the U.S. as a country, the U.S. at large, is affecting the whole world sooner or later. I mean, everything, everything is interconnected. And this doesn't have to do just with the whole globalization thing. Mm -hmm. Everything is interconnected. It's just right now we understand the interconnectedness more because of the technology and everything else. Okay. So they are affecting us no matter where we are at. Okay. So which one is affecting us more, the, the Pluto or the Moon? Both, about equally. Okay. <laughs> so what's happening is that uh, the full Moon happens in uh, Capricorn. Okay. And uh, when the full Moon happens, the Moon is really close to Pluto in Capricorn. Okay. So because the full moon is next to Pluto in Capricorn, whatever Pluto in Capricorn was going to do as part of the return of the U.S. chart is going to be exaggerated a million times. By the moon. By the moon, because okay. full moons just <clears throat> exaggerate everything. Yes. Just amplify everything. So that's to begin with. Now, the... Moon in a Capricorn is going to create an opposition when it happens, the full moon, with Lilith or the black moon and mm-hmm. Mercury and the sun in Cancer. All three of them are going to be in Cancer. The black moon is all about our shadows, uh-huh. right? Yes. So I understand everything is in Cancer, everything's dark, everything's whatever. What actually does that mean to me, somebody that doesn't study all this planet stuff? It's going to be a very transitional period for you as an individual and for the whole world at large. Now, what does that mean? It means it's going to be a very cathartic shift. Well, cathartic... I was going to get ready to say, (laughs) well, what does that mean? It means that it's going to feel like... Our whole world, our individual little world and the world at large are going to seem like they are turning upside down because 
we have to remember what Pluto represents. Pluto uh, is death. Pluto, Pluto is the underworld. Mm -hmm. Pluto is huge death and rebirth. It's a whole shift. Okay. And Pluto is dark. Pluto is not easy. And uh, Pluto requires a lot of a lot of self reflection in the sense of what is buried deep down. Okay, so last week you were talking about reflection, self-reflection yes. also. Is that like the big theme for right now is self-reflection? Yes, actually that's the big theme pretty much for the next year and a half. Okay, that's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> uh, and say I don't really want, want to self-reflect this week. Is there other things that I can do besides just meditating because you know I like to get things done more than sit around yes. and so what totally focus on what your big goal is because that's represented by the north lunar node that you didn't let me talk about okay <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll let you talk yeah, about the by, node by Uranus and uh, the, <laughs> and Uranus. the north and the north lunar node so focus on what your big goal in life is for you uh, the individual but as part of your community what is the big goal in life and know that even though you may be working really hard at it, the whole theme of Capricorn also that you didn't let me elaborate on, is you may be working really hard at it, it may not seem like you are getting anywhere for a little while. And that could be even for a year and a half. Okay, so basically where we are in the world yes. is no matter how hard we work today, Yep. We might not see benefits for a year and a half. Exactly. But we will see benefits. But we will see benefits. And the first glimpse of the big benefits, because you, you're still going to see little benefits here and there, but the first glimpse of the big benefits may not show up until the end of uh, next year, March. And I remember you also brought this up a couple podcasts ago, is that we're sort of in the same time as we were as far as planets in, what, 2010, 2011? Yes, mid of 2010, <clears throat> early 2011. Yes. And that was about when we started making the big plans of the new yoga studio. Yes. We had closed the old one. We were taking our time off. We were making prepared. We were actually self-reflecting. And yeah. we opened up. We ended up firing all our instructors because they were doing terrible. And we really self-reflected, or I would say, I would say we just did business. And that's when we really started growing our yoga studio. It yes. started exploding. So we next year, say I wanted to do business mm -hmm. now, this is a time to start laying the groundwork plant the seeds, water the plants, all that stuff. And then in a year to year and a half, two years, is when we're going to really get it ex exploding. Exactly, exactly. It takes time. It takes time. Everything takes time. Ayurveda says that you have the microcosmos, which is you mm -hmm. as the individual, and you have the macrocosmos, which is the rest of the world. Yep. And what's happening in the, in the rest of the world is going to affect you and vice versa, even though a lot of times it doesn't seem like you're making any difference, you but as an individual, but you are, you are. And I'll bring that back to St. Pete again, is before that we were being hit really nasty with the bars that opened up next to us, and that's why we had to close the one studio. And we let that go away and because we focused on expanding and growing we grew the downtown st pete is nothing like it used to be when yes. we first opened not even close so us opening up a yoga studio in the 1010 area actually exploded the uh, uh edge district yeah because 90 120 people coming into the edge district every day 
where before and there, happy people yes where before there was nobody coming into that district nothing there was no cars there was nothing so even us opening up doing something small as opening up the yoga studio that only fit like 37 people even though we were only supposed to fit about 34 <laughs> uh created the edge district that is now the fastest growing area in st pete Yes, absolutely. And that's uh, what is important to remember this time is that because of where the planets are, anything that you decide to do that's going to benefit you and your community at large is going to have huge, huge effect for the rest of the world. So for your community at large and the surrounding community. So with that, I would like to say, let's call it on this podcast. We'll do another one for the rest of the week. But I want to start focusing on doing something great for the community right now. Until next time, much, much love from both of us. Namaste kala. May we all be well, adapt, and thrive. If you found today's show helpful, please give us a rating, a review, or both, and subscribe to the podcast and never miss an episode. As always, namaste kala, which in Greek means, may we all be well. This program, Copyright True Fitness Incorporated, all rights reserved.